told we're keeping an eye down there in Charleston. This is uh, this is the family of Walter Scott. Let's listen to what they have to say. Uh, for justice. Missed opportunity to heal a lot of wounds in this country. Uh, missed opportunity to remind the good officers that put on that badge that they aren't uh, Michael Slager. But if you thought that we were gonna come out here crying or weeping or weak, you don't know the Scott family who have become my family. You don't understand that the fight isn't over. That was round one. We've got two more rounds to go. The solicitor is trying this case again as soon as she can. The DOJ is trying this case as soon as they can. He may have delayed justice, but he did not escape it. We all saw what he did. We all saw what happened. But that's the justice system. One person or two people can disagree. We don't know the details of what the jury makeup was or what the decision was. We'll find that out. Uh, to force all any comments about that or any questions about that. But it doesn't matter because our faith is unwavering, our knowledge of what happened is unwavering, and Michael Slager will face justice in this. We aren't worried. We don't need to scream or shout because we know that it's coming. It's just been delayed. So think what you want, that the fight is over, but it's not. It's simply been delayed. Anthony Scott would like to give some remarks, and Miss Judy Scott, his mother. Let her go first. I would like to say good evening to all of you. And today, I'm not sad. And I want you to know why I'm not sad because Jesus is on the inside. And I know that justice will be served because the God that I serve, he's able. He told me to wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And God, he is strengthening my heart. God is my strength and I know without a doubt that he is a just God and injustice, injustice will not prevail. The God I serve, I know he's able. We are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses from days past and gone and what God did for them back then, he'll do the same for me. I trust God. I believe God. I am encouraged because Say I so. know God is able. Say so. He will get his just reward. And we have the federal trial and another trial to go. I'm just waiting on the Lord. I'm just going to rest in the Lord. I'm going to rest in the Lord because you see, the reason why I can speak like I am because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I have been born again. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. And there's something about Jesus when he's on the inside. I fear not. I don't care what man say. I don't care how it looks. It's not over. Y'all hear me? It's not over till God say it's over. I'm done. 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 I'm you know, you just heard some very, very strong and powerful words from uh, Miss Judy Scott. And I think that that sums up how the entire family feels about this moment. Um, you know, yeah, we wish the outcome may have been different. Uh, but at the end of the day, this is just another step in the process. And we all know that at the end of the day, justice will be had. 
Uh, you know, one thing that uh, we've learned throughout this entire process is uh, it doesn't really matter how many times you get knocked down. Uh, just make sure you land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. And this is an example that moving forward, we'll continue looking up and we'll continue to take things day by day. And we know that at the end of the day, justice will be had because oftentimes what's done in the dark comes to the light. And thanks to Fade and Santana, uh, we've seen the light. And there is no way at the end of the day that former officer Michael Slager uh, can escape uh, what's coming to him. And that is a conviction and that is prison time. After what you heard on Friday, this low juror saying that he could not morally <coughs> convict the officer, is this something, uh, this announcement today, is this something that you had prepared for? How had you prepared for this day? You know, that, I mean, I think that's the catch-22 is, he said he didn't want to say that the killer of Walter Scott is innocent, which would mean he's guilty. So his moral conscience, I guess, didn't let him put Michael Slager behind bars, but that's fine. That happens in jury trials, but it tells you a lot. Were you surprised to learn today that a majority of the jurors were still undecided? No, when you get all of the information and you know you can ask questions that maybe you wanted to ask, now people are figuring out more answers to different things they hadn't thought of. But we'll know all of those facts once you all talk to the jury. Of course, you know, they can talk to y'all now. Um, I'm sure they're probably talking to somebody right now. Um, Stewart, question for you. The makeup of the jury, as you know, six white men, five white women, one African-American man. Does the makeup of the jury, now that in retrospect you look at the fact that there was a mistrial, does that bother you? It, it shouldn't bother okay, anybody. Okay, that is it, the scene outside the courthouse in Charleston, South Carolina. Again, just within the last hour, the judge officially declaring the jury deadlocked. Uh, this in the trial of Officer Michael Slager. Uh, he was charged in the killing of an unarmed black man, Walter Scott. Last year, the jury had been deliberating for four days. That was Chris Stewart you were just listening to at the end there. He is an attorney uh, for the Scott family. You also heard from Walter Scott's mother. You also heard from another attorney for the Scott family. Uh, Stewart saying there uh, of Officer Slager, he may have delayed justice, but he did not escape justice. And he said the fight is not over yet. Of course, prosecutors do have the option of, uh, of uh, retrying the officer. And I, I believe we're joined now uh, by Ari Melbourne. Ari, I want to run this by you. I was just listening to Chris Stewart, the lawyer there. He made reference to a federal case and he made reference to, he said, the solicitor is going to have uh, another case. He was making reference to two more trials. Uh, is this news here? Has he officially been told, do we know, that there's going to be uh, another trial or two? Two Two more trials are possible. Here's why. This trial ends in a hung jury, a mistrial. So that is neither a finding of not guilty, which would release uh, Officer Slager of these charges, nor obviously a finding of guilty, which is why the family members and other advocates are, are registering their concern. So there is an expectation, we don't know yet, um, that there could be a retrial of this case. That does often happen in significant cases that end in a hung jury because it is such a lack of resolution. Um, but it is certainly too fast at this early hour to hear that kind of formal announcement from prosecutors. In a sense, they will be doing um, what the community and what journalists are going to be doing in the coming hours and days, Steve, which is try to reach the jurors, learn about this. The jurors have the right to speak or not speak. During the trial, of course, they don't have the right to speak. They have to only participate confidentially. And what the prosecutors learn from those jurors could affect their decision. Um, we, as I mentioned, have spoken in our reporting uh, to lawyers in the state who said they would expect um, a retrial effort by the prosecutors. The second case is totally separate. It's a federal case uh, brought by federal prosecutors in the uh, Obama administration Justice Department, and that is pending as this case works its way out and now, of course, can, can be a second trial. So it is possible that there would be one or two more trials here, ultimately all around that same underlying incident captured on that video of the shooting of Walter Scott in the back. All right, Ari Melber, thanks for sticking around. Again, that was the Scott family, lawyers for the Scott family. They're talking to reporters outside the courthouse down there in Charleston. We'll keep an eye on that situation, bring you any more as we learn it. Coming up.